What is up guys, one more here and bring guys a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. This is the beginning of my last two weeks here at Liberty University for my first semester. And in a couple weeks I'll be back home, so Washington Station will be back with the green screen. Look a little bit better, audio a little bit higher and clearer, so I'm excited to get back to that, y'all. But it said that my first semester here is winding down, at least in person. I still have several weeks when I go home of um, online class, but uh, yeah, so that's just how... You know, COVID changes everything, so we're going home early. So anyway, I didn't make a video Monday because I was, I was actually home this weekend and I traveled back and it was, it's just a lot to come back and then make a video and get that out and it just wasn't working with time. And so I was like, I'll make it Wednesday and Friday, you know, you'll get my um, preview video for our game against Detroit. But uh, yeah, so let's just talk about the game Sunday. I don't really want to talk about it, but let's talk about it. Uh, we lost 23-20. Um, Kyle Smith suffered that. And Kyle Allen suffered um, a very uh, uh, bad injury. It's not that bad. As it's only like a four-month recovery. It's very similar, but not quite as bad as Dax, but it's very similar to Dax. Um, what? I just don't know what happens. It's November. Near that same yard line. I don't know what's happening. But, you know, you got Thousman at the RFK. Two years ago, you had Alex, and this year we had Kyle. And don't forget, I, don't, I think it was December at that point, but Colt McCoy broke his leg. It's just quarterbacks in their lower bodies just have no no um, security, no matter what. I mean, RG3, whew, we just can't get a break. It is what it is. Going for the game, you play the game, you know you probably don't get hurt. That's just... It comes to Nashville football. Even if you don't really get hurt, you're going to get banged up and you're going to feel sore for a day or two after the game. And that's just the nature of the sport. But anyway, uh, Cameron Curl got exposed Sunday, which is a rookie. You know, you can't put him out by so much fault. But yes, he does. He's starting. He, he proved to the coach that he could start and he needed to show that. And he showed that later in the game. He came up big later in the game. But earlier in the game, when the Giants were building on their momentum, he really let big plays happen, which really hurt our team for that game. Uh, even though we've been talking down a lot this year about Landon Collins, his presence was missed definitely this past week. Um, let's talk about Terry McLaurin, though. Oh, my gosh. That big, I mean, he was a big, had a hundred, over 100-yard 100 game. But that play with um, where he got hit in the air after catching the ball and then burst it out for a touchdown, can't stop that man. It proves why he's captain. Team proves why the team loves him. Proves why he's the receiver of our team's future. You know, I um, I really, I remember. I, I always say this um to the test of time. I um I said it multiple times. I worked at uh the training camp last year, and we had a day where us volunteers got to actually just be with the team for one day, and got to meet the team. And this was before Terry was announced daughter, even though we all kind of knew. Um, so he came over to me and signed the ball and I ha we had like a short conversation and I told him, you know, you're going to make a lot of people miss this year and, you know, they're going to wish they had drafted you higher. And he was like, he was like, they'll see for sure. And it was, it was a short little conversation, a little bit more to that, but that was like a key part. And, um, I told him he was going to burn the brakes off of all those defensive backs. And he's, and he was just like, yeah, they'll see it. And, uh. We've seen it, and it's absolutely awesome and fantastic that what's happening. I'm so happy that you know he's producing as high as he has, and let's not and let's not let that overshadow the fact that Redskins fan favorite receiver has been here for years is finally getting his opportunity. Cam Sims broke out for a hundred yard gain. There's two big key catches in the game, even though we didn't win it. Those key catches kept us in the game, and oh my. Alex and Kyle both look like they had a little chemistry there with him, and whew, I, you know he's a big body, and uh, he kind of reminds me if Terry can be the Deshaun, Cam's like a bigger garçon. I always talk about we need that new Deshaun and Pierre, which is true because they were such an electrifying duo. We need another one. We need another set of receivers like that. We got one with Terry, and we're trying to find who the other one is. You know, it could be Kelvin Harmon, it could be Gandy Golden, it could be Sims. It's definitely not Emmon. I don't care for that guy at all. He hasn't produced any stuff for that one game against Cleveland and we still lost. But um 
Yeah, I think, you know, it's a toss between them three, and I think we're going to see over the next couple of years who's um, going to be that guy. And, you know, it's nice having options at slot two with Steven Sims back and Isaiah Wright. Seeing them two get some in the slot is really fun to watch. But let's also talk about uh, Alex Smith, who's going to be starting this week against Detroit. Uh, you know, he didn't play his best game. He had, what, two or three interceptions and that beautiful touchdown, first touchdown since 2018 since he had that injury. Um, you know, it's film box. You know, he doesn't get a whole lot of time with the starters. He gets most of the time with the scout team and second team routes. And um, I think, you know, we'll see the chemistry build against Detroit. Um, I don't want to get too much into that game until Friday. But, uh, yeah, I think he's gonna, he showed that he can take the hit. He can run it if he wants to. He can pass it. He can still launch it. And, um... So, you know, smarter decisions. He can't get baited in the throws like he did at the very end of the game by Logan Ryan. You know, when you get that shot to Terry, you're like, oh, yeah, I finally got it. But sometimes that defensive back knows you want to go there, so he's going to let bait you into it. Um, so it was it was a bad game. Uh, so he didn't really show up until, like, the second half of the third quarter into the fourth. It was terrible. They outplayed us. Somehow Daniel Jones can play awful in every game except for when he plays us. Um, we're going to make a Hall of Fame quarterback out of him. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, they swept us, but at least we have a win against Philly and Dallas. And um, we're only second in the division, guys. Round of applause. We've lost six games and we're it's number two in the division. Our division sucks. But it's a good thing we suck because we can still contend. Um, I think Philly's, Philly's number one, but I don't think it's going to last very long. I think we'll take over because we should... We, in my opinion, even though the Giants have contended with the Bucks and beat us twice, and I really shouldn't say that after saying that, but I still think we showed the best strength of any team right now, better defense. Um, if we can just get a stable stability at the quarterback position, that is the main thing uh, going into this week. But, yeah, it was just a really bad game, uh, really hard to watch until the near the end. But it, it made a good, exciting game. You know, you always love to see Terry McLaurin have a big touchdown. We got Antonio Gibson a touchdown. Dustin Hopkins made a, a couple of really good field goals, which is good. And Alex Smith coming back, which, you know, you can always put a smile on your face when you see that guy playing football, no matter when, lose or draw. Seeing him back on the field, it's just amazing. Uh, but another good news, Price Love is back at practice. Uh, he has returned. He has 21 days to um, come back from IR. So that's exciting. I wonder how we'll make room for him. Um, somebody's gonna have probably have to get axed. Uh, might be putting Barber. In my opinion, if they want to incorporate Bryce Love into game day, that is. Um, if not, then probably stay the same. But yeah, it's, it was. It's a game that showed it to end a lot of promise and a lot of stuff going forward. And um, should be a good game against Detroit this week. Talk more about that later. Um, yeah, it's also it's a, it's, it's, it's a tough week, but it was a good week. It had a good ending. You know, uh, we fought hard, and um, just a little something, I don't know if all y'all heard it, but just let's give a little props to Dwayne Haskins. Obviously, he's third string now. He's been benched. Ron Rivera's still backing him up in the interviews and stuff. When they ask him, he's backing him up. And um, let's just make sure Dwayne knows we have his back. And also, he is taking an initiative. Um, he knows he's not getting as many reps in practice, so he's actually going to fields to work out with other receivers. Um, after practice to get some more reps, which is always good to just keep getting those reps with receivers and um, build that chemistry. So, yeah, uh, let's get props to him, support him. Hopefully, um, you know, maybe he'll be in the mix next year. So, or maybe he'll play again this year because you never know. He's now going to be dressed out for games as backup to Alex. So, Kyle's out for the season. So, yeah, that's a lot to talk about. Hope you have a great day. Make sure to stay safe. Thank you for watching today's episode of Washington Station. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that bell button so you're notified every single time I upload a brand new episode of Washington Station. And comment down below your thoughts. And I'll catch y'all Friday. I'm Will Morris, and I'm out. Peace.